Hi, it's Kurt Thompson here today at the beginning of September 2020 and I have a brand new review. It's a review of a double French horn by E-Star. You know, I've been sticking with Mendini and John Paul for some of the lower end, lower priced musical instruments. And some of those are actually fine and dandy and ready to rock, especially if you're a comeback player and you don't want to invest a lot in a Yamaha or Bach, for example, or you're a beginner. Uh, but what about if you're moving up to like a double horn, maybe you're a 10th grader or 11th grader, maybe even a senior in high school, or Maybe you are a semi-pro or advanced French horn player and you don't want to lug home your Farkas or your Con 8D and you just want a second horn to, to pick up the slack. So I've gone through a couple of different double French horns and I found the sweet spot, ladies and gentlemen. This is the sweet spot for you. To have a second horn at home for you just to practice on, you're gonna to wanna to get this E-Star double French horn. If you're moving up from a single horn to a double horn and you're in high school, you're gonna to wanna to get this one. This, as you heard, has an amazing sound, amazing response and amazing control. And let me raise my hand and be honest, you know my primary instrument is trumpet. It's not French horn. How can a guy like me that mainly plays trumpet get on this French horn and make it sing so easily and sound so good? Part of it might be me, but part of it also is this sweet instrument. And this is my first try at the double French horn by E-Star. I'm really stoked about it. I mean, this is a cool horn, especially for the money. This is under a grand. And when you're talking about double French horns like Kahn's and um, Holton Farkas's that cost four or five, six thousand dollars or more, I mean, this is just a no brainer. <laughs> it really is just a no brainer. Okay, so you heard me play something slow and long and melodic on this French horn, and I wasn't using a double side of the horn because, like I just uh, revealed, you know, I don't play French horn all the time. And so I'll, the, the F side of the horn is closer to my trumpet fingerings, although I do know the double side, but um, in the, the intonation, the accuracy, of course, is better when you use the double side of the horn. But I'm going to stick right now just with what I know, just so that you hear this French horn. Now, um, what about low notes? Let's test out a couple of low notes on this horn. That was a low F at the below the staff. Uh, let's go even a little bit lower. Can you say wow? <laughs> wow. I mean, I'm playing the pedal C and it's just coming out rich, brassy, and crystal clear. And I'm mainly a trumpet player. How much more could you do if you play this instrument full time? I mean, it really is sweet. Let's, let's see if this new double French horn 
FB flat E star has any high notes on it. Yes, this E star double French horn does have some super duper high notes on it. Okay, let's, let me have you look at it up close and I'll have some pictures. And here's the brand. Maybe you can see the brand. Let's see if we can get it up close. Beautiful horn, beautiful, brand new, beautiful double French horn. Now it comes with a mouthpiece included. It comes with a very thick and sturdy protective hard shell case. And mine came with this whole pack. Um, plated equipment, brushes, pipe cleaners, slide cleaners, valve cleaners. Uh, looks like it may have a tuner in there. I haven't even opened all this up yet, but it's got a lot of accessories that it came with. I think I'm willing to make a proclamation, at least when it comes to the double French horn. Now, this is not, I'm not painting with a broad brush here over the trumpet and trombone and some other instruments that are very viewed by Mendini and Jean Paul. But uh, my proclamation is that the E star double French horn B flat F is now king and top of the hill for double French horn compared to the Mendini and compared to other brands, let's say off brands that aren't Bach, that aren't Yamaha, that aren't Khan or Jupiter. So, I'm recommending now, over anything else, for the money, don't forget that important phrase, for the money. The money that you spend on this is going to be a value and well worth it. Is this as good or better than a Con 8D? No, it's not. But you want a Con 8D, you go spend four or $5,000, right? Know what I'm talking about? You spend that four or $5,000 or more, and yes, that's a better horn. But for the money, and you're not going to spend much money on this, it's under $1,000, it's well worth your investment. And just the convenience of having a second horn at home so you don't have to lug um, a horn back and forth, or if you're a pro and you get on the subway or transit or in your car when it's cold or hot, it's just well worth it. You owe it to yourself to check out E-Star double French horn. I will put a link in the description. Everything on this thing works like you would expect a pro French horn to work. The rotors, fast, smooth, and amazing. But listen to that. It has the mechanical rotors in the back to save you from screwing around with the strings. All the sides are amazing. The horn, as you heard, for a guy who doesn't play French horn that much, this horn plays really well in tune. You heard it. Just imagine if you played French horn 100% of the time. I can't say enough about this. It's a great horn. It's a great value. I'm Kurt Thompson. 
I hope you enjoyed my review of this horn enough to go out and give it a try. You'll be glad you did. I'm Kurt Thompson, my site, trumpetzizzle.com. If you found this video worthwhile, worth your time and of value, why not subscribe? I have a lot of videos here. Go ahead and give it one of those thumbs up because YouTube will then put its little YouTube bots and uh, put this up in front of other people. I'll see you later and see you in the next one.